Hello friends, today we are see the volumetric flow rate and we cover in this video what is volumetric flow rate, what is volumetric flow rate unit and the calculation for the volumetric flow rate. Then let's see the volumetric flow rate. First we see the volumetric flow rate definition. The volumetric flow rate is defined as the volume of fluid is passing through a given cross section area per unit time. As you see in the diagram, if one of the fluid volume is passed through a pipe per unit time, then the number of fluid volume which is passed through a cross-sectional area is called a volumetric flow rate. That means if 1 liter of fluid volume is passed through a cross-sectional area in 1 minute, then the volumetric flow rate is 1 liter per minute. Same example, if 3 liter of fluid volume is passed in 1 minute, then the over volumetric flow rate is 3 liter per minute. For example, when we taking the bath, that time if 10 liter water bucket is full in one minute then we say our volumetric flow rate is 10 liter per minute same example if 30 liter water bucket is full in two minutes then our volumetric flow rate is 15 liter per minute so how can we calculate the volumetric flow rate let's we see in detail so as per the definitions volumetric flow rate measures the amount of volume that pass through a cross section area per unit of time so Volumetric flow rate represented by the symbol Q, V and V dot. So as per the definition, if we represent the volumetric flow rate in form of mathematical, then the equation for the volumetric flow rate looks like this. Q is equal to volume of fluid divided by time is equal to V by T, where V is equal to volume of fluid in volume unit and T is equal to time in time unit. From this term, we can say the volumetric flow rate units are liter per minute, cubic meter per second, cubic feet per second, gallon per minute, standard cubic centimeter per minute. Now consider a pipe in which a fluid with volume V and length L is passed through a cross section area point P and its required time for passing is T. Then the volumetric flow rate Q is equal to V by T. Consider this is equation number 1. Here fluid passing through the pipe. So fluid volume is in cylinder shape. So volume of fluid is equal to area A into length of fluid L where A is equal to cross section area of the fluid passing through the pipe and L is equal to length of the fluid passing through the pipe. Then substitute volume V into the volumetric flow rate equation 1. Then the volumetric flow rate Q is equal to A into L divided by T. But in this term L by T means L length of fluid passed in T time means velocity V is equal to L distance divided by T time. So we can replace L by T with velocity V in the previous equation and we get the volumetric flow rate Q is equal to A into V. Here velocity is the average flow velocity for fluid because when the fluid flow in a pipe its velocity is more in center as compared to outer side. So from this equation we can say that the volumetric flow rate is the product of cross sectional area of fluid A and the average flow velocity V and this relationship tells us that flow rate is directly proportional to the both the magnitude of the average flow velocity and the size of the pipe through which the fluid flow larger the pipe greater its cross sectional area of flowing fluid greater the volumetric flow now from this term Q is equal to A into V if area A is in meter square, velocity V is in meter per second, then the volumetric flow rate Q is equal to meter cube per second. So we get a new formula for the volumetric flow rate Q is equal to A into V that is often used more useful than the original definition of volumetric flow rate because area A is easy to determine. Now there is one more formula for volumetric flow measurement. It is in terms of differential pressure. Volumetric flow rate is proportional to the square root of differential pressure divided by the fluid density. Actually when we measure the flow using the orifice meter, that time flow is proportional to the square root of differential pressure. There we consider constant density. That's why in that equation density is not available. But in actual volumetric flow rate is proportional to the square root of differential pressure divided by the fluid density. So using proportionality constant this equation is like Q is equal to K into square root of P1 minus P2 divided by density where Q is equal to volumetric flow rate P1 P2 is equal to pressure difference between the two points rho is equal to mass density of fluid and K is equal to constant of proportionality. For example if particular orifice plate develops a 45 inches of water coulomb differential pressure at the flow rate of 180 gallon per minute a 
of water so we can find the k is equal to 26.83 here the k factor for particular orifice plate flow rate in unit of gallon per minute differential pressure in unit of inch of water coulomb and density expressed as a specific gravity now equation is gallon per minute is equal to 26.83 square root of inch of water coulomb divided by the specific gravity of the fluid now for example the difference of pressure is 60 inch of water coulomb so the volumetric flow rate is equal to 207.8 gallon per minute now for example the difference of pressure is 110 inch of water coulomb across the orifice plate and the specific gravity is 0.657 then the volumetric flow rate q is equal to 347 gallon per minute let's see one example water flows through a 4 inch diameter circular pipe with the velocity 3 meter per second case 1 Calculate the volumetric flow rate. Case 2. Calculate the time to required to fill the cylinder shape tank that its internal diameter is 4 meter and height is 5 meter. Given data are pipe diameter D1 is equal to 4 inch. So from this diameter we get a pipe radius R1 is equal to 2 inches. Convert 2 inches in meter is equal to 0 0.0508 meter. Here the velocity V is equal to 3 meter per second and for case 2 we have a data tank diameter d2 is equal to 4 meter so tank radius is equal to 2 meter and the tank height is 5 meter so from this all data we calculate the volumetric flow rate so in case 1 volumetric flow rate q is equal to a into v here area a is equal to cross section area of pipe so area a is equal to pi r square so volumetric flow rate q is equal to pi r square into v so we substituted all the value in this term and we get the volumetric flow rate q is equal to 0 0.0243 meter cube per second now case 2 here we have to calculate the time required to fill the cylindrical tank with the volumetric flow rate 0 0.0243 meter cube per second as per the case 1 but first we have to calculate the tank volume so volume of tank v is equal to pi r square h here tank is in cylinder shape that's why tank volume is equal to pi r square h if tank is rectangular then we have to calculate the rectangular tank volume now substitute all the values in pi r square h then we get tank volume v is equal to 62.832 meter cube now tank 0 0.0243 meter cube volume fill in one second so 62.832 meter cube tank volume fill in time 2585.67 second is equal to 43 minute and 6 second